So the shoe I have today, I ended up purchasing because it was pretty cool. All the functionality and the sole and everything put together, I was like, you know what? This may not be a performance shoe, at least I don't think it is, but it could be a functional shoe. So I decided to pick it up, test it out, see how it goes, and you know, overall make a nice review of it. So let's get into the shoe right away. Obviously Under Armour, and you know the shoe by the title, but this is what it comes in. Simple, plain Under Armour box. We go to the front and then we can see it says UA fast tire venture all right with the charge technology um yeah, that's what i just noticed i you, oh that's why so i went for a 10 in this one just because they didn't have the 10 and a half i can sometimes squish into the 10 but this is just a try i guess if it doesn't fit then i'll have to return it but for now i went half size down normally i go everything 10 and a half all my other shoes all my other reviews 10 and a half anyways let's get into the shoe so as we open up box is nice and cool and uh, here it is here is the sneaker the shoe itself nice little quick look okay so that's the first look let's do a 360 on it so from close see charged on the side it's got a little panel here a quick look at that do the 360 pretty slim and sleek the biggest part of the shoe is the sole. I mean, it's the fat tire, the Michelin stuff. It's bulky, so let's have a look at that. See, nice grooves for going trail running or walking on a trail. I'd say I don't know if I'm going to run in these ones. And it just says Under Armour. Some of the other fat tires, uh, like the sandals they've had and the other shoes, it did say Michelin fat tire on it, but I don't see anywhere on this one where it says it. Um, maybe they've dropped the branding and they just used the fat tire name now and I don't know if you know comment below but yeah uh, anyway so let's get into the functionability of this shoe so you just saw the panel these panels are velcro so they pop off you can pop both of them off so actually I don't know the greatness of it but I guess this is the heel counter of the shoe a lot of shoes will have that hard plastic heel counter here especially like basketball shoes or other running this is completely soft and collapsible so I guess if you wanted to you could probably use these like a mule, like a slip speed, you know? I don't think it's meant to bend down like that and be forced and worn it. But I think if you take this part off, you can most likely definitely do so. Um, I don't know, these things are a little weird. What does that look like, guys? That looks like a life jacket to me. Like, you know, when you go swimming, a life vest? That's the picture on that one. And then on the other one, it just has a little stuff. But I'm pretty sure you guys already saw that when I showed the side of the shoe. Right, so it just attaches to there, like I said. If you look at the lacing system, you got round laces. The aglets are pretty much string on the side. A little connector here on the front, but just your basic connected system. To me, this is more like um, a beach shoe, I guess. You know, the fat tire would probably be pretty good for the sand. Breathable. The material feels like it can get a little wet and dry. So maybe you could use these as water shoes. But then again, you have those other um, uh, Under Armour ones. Go check my old videos, the fishing shoes, the Kalichis or whatever they're called. Those are great. So I probably won't keep these as a, a water shoe, but it was a good shoe to have a look on. I don't know. Maybe when I throw these on foot, it will feel amazing and different because that has happened sometimes previously with me before. But uh, yeah. Anyways, I've been mumbling on, talking too much. Got my sock liner. Let's go try this shoe on and see how it looks on foot. All right, so I'm surprised. The 10 actually fits kind of perfectly. I would like to try the 10 and a half, but I don't know, you don't know. Um, the, the bottom of the heel is sole because of the fat tire. It does feel like it should not be on my, you know, ceramic floor, these, these floors, laminate floors or wood floors. It should probably be on grass or gravel or dirt or something to help, uh, you know, level out the grip. But they do feel pretty good. Um, the charge technology is bouncy. I don't know if you can see me going to, uh, on my heels, but yeah, pretty good. I like them. Uh, they're actually probably going to give the Kalichis a run for their money. Um, they feel good, like they'd be great to drive fast. Very breathable. Great for a beach shoe, travel shoe. So this one I'm definitely going to have to really test out and beat up to get an understanding of. Quick no. I realized the Velcro side is to tie them together like this. That's what you can use one of the things for. Um, that's what it says right here. Hold it together. 
don't know, kind of a cool thing, I guess, but uh, whatever. So that was the uh, shoe on foot. So yeah, it definitely felt more like a, I don't know, like a vacation shoe, or something light. Not something I would use in my everyday training, my activities, my going about, you know. So the shoe, the shoe is double side by side, like I always do. I have a quick look at side by side, other than on feet. Let it hang right here. Double pair. Okay, so coming at the price, the price was 125 Canadian. There was a discount applied, obviously. Check uh, your Under Armour sites for discounts. They always have them. If not, you want something right away, yeah, pay the full price. But if you waited two weeks to a month, I'm sure there would be some type of discount for you. Or check your factory outlet stores. So yeah, 125 The 10 was a little snug. Like, I could get away with it, but ideal, the 10 and a half would have been better. They just were sold out in my sizes, so maybe I need to wait for a restock. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Anyways, tell me what you guys think of the shoe. I've never really been a huge charged fan. Hover is okay and all that too, but it really depends on the shoe itself. And, um, I don't know. Final thoughts, I'm up and down on them. They might go back, I might keep them. Because for what the purposes of these shoes, or what I would have the purpose for, I already have quite a few pieces of footwear that already do that. So, something new, something cooler, but I'm going to have to think about this one. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, take it easy.